version says these words spoke Jesus and lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour is come, glorify thy son, that thy son also may glorify thee. coming is a different meaning in the presence of the Lord. There is quite a very big mission. The hour has come for us to go and serve. Amen? Amen. Amen. The hour is now. Amen. The hour is not tomorrow. Amen. The hour is not yesterday. But the hour is yes. today. God, thank you for this team, and we pray for journey mercies as we travel to Kamuli. It's in your mighty and matchless name, Jesus, that we pray. Amen. Thank you guys for having us being able to come here. Your joy is contagious. Uh, we have our chairman. Chairman Waife. The one who is the, the head of this village. <laughs> Honored to be here, and we're excited for all that's to come. Okay. Did come from Okay. It did come from That relevant training that yes. they've been able to get through the project. Right, and great. I think it is the reason why okay. she's even expanding so fast. Yeah. That she, from the share from the group project, she put aside a personal model project. Mm -hmm. Sometimes if it over rains and the whole place okay. gets flooded, yeah, it does affect and they have to remove the animals. Right. So yeah. in that kind of situation, sad pigs are not affected. <laughs> she's saying, Every time you come to Uganda, let this place be one of the, of the villages you think of all is come and visit. donation in Houston's First Baptist mm. as well. Yeah. We did a massive food relief program, mm. but we've done three. Mm. 
since COVID started, and yeah. Hope City helped us do two of them. Wow. So it's, I mean, we fed, I think the first one we fed about 10,000 people. Yeah. yeah, so Hope City is really Yeah, being amazing. very supportive to us. So amazing. of Bagua, Uganda, here at one of our local outreaches today. This morning we pulled up and the people were just so welcoming and ready for worship and we just praised the Lord and we had incredible words from Gary and one of the local pastors followed by breakout sessions and then we came out and into our medical camp areas that are right behind me and then we're also feeding our people as you can also see behind me so lives are being impacted not only are they getting physically fed but they're spiritually getting fed and this is just the beginning Hey guys, we are on day two of our outreach. We're in Balupa, which is another area of the Kamui region. As you know, the Vine services about 13 villages in this Kamui district. And we do lab testing, we have a pharmacy here, the doctors on the spot will test them. And yesterday, we saw 298 patients in just under four and a half hours providing treatment. They get tested for HIV, malaria, they get their blood sugar tested, and if they need it, they get the medicine on this spot. And we're not only meeting physical needs, we're meeting spiritual needs. The great thing is, is as we're testing them, we're praying over them, we're speaking life, and we're bringing heaven down to earth right here. Yesterday I got the opportunity to talk about what it means to have a relationship with Jesus. And there was a really powerful thing that happened, and it was that they read from the Lasoga Bible. And every time that they read a scripture, the people just cheered and clapped and were so joyful because they truly believed in those words. They had power. Those words meant everything to them. Hey guys, I'm here with Gary and we are in the Nile and it's baptism day. We're so excited. We're actually expecting probably upwards of about 75, 80 people here today. So this is what it's all about. This friends. Is a new light. What you're doing today is a new 